Hello there boys and girls, welcome to Scottish Geeks. Today we're going to be talking about a couple of news articles from the, the Mirror in the UK. Uh, these news articles um, I have decided to share with you guys to let you come up with your own opinions. I will begin mine over the course of the video. First news article was Gran fighting for her life after she was engulfed in flames when e-cigarette ignited her oxygen supply in hospital. Let's get into the story a little bit. A gran was fighting for her life with serious burns in hospital today after reports an e-cigarette ignited her bedside oxygen supply. Jean Booth, 65, from Cheadlehulme in Stockport, was engulfed in flames in a blast at Withenshaw Hospital and suffered burns to her face and head. An investigation has been launched after an electronic cigarette was discovered near to her hospital bed after the blast. Okay. Uh, moving on a little bit, uh, retired cleaner Jean, who is believed to be a heavy smoker, was in hospital for a hip replacement after a fall. It was understood she suffered breathing difficulties and was given an oxygen tube uh, which was attached to her nose. So, right, okay, let's, let's, let's go through the meat of this, okay. E-cigarettes, buzzword for the news today. Ban them, grrr, evil, nasty e-cigarette things, they are so dangerous. Except they're not. They're not. This woman was a, a heavy smoker and uh, was stuck in a hospital bed. The e-cigarette was found near to her, there was no proof she actually used it or if it was anywhere in particular near to where her oxygen tanks were. Apart from the fact that e-cigarettes don't ignite, there's no ignition in them, there's a coil which heats up and um, there's no sparks, there's no... basically they don't blow up, they don't. There's, there's no proof they do, there's no physical proof, there's no video showing where someone has purposely blown up an e-cigarette. Many people have tried, but anyway. Um, she was a heavy smoker, so the likely, two likely things that have probably happened were one, these things just happen. Oxygen tanks can explode. They do. Luckily she survived it. The other thing was, being a very heavy smoker, uh, she was probably maybe wanting a cigarette and tried to sneak one in her room with the door shut. And uh, lighter, cigarette, fire, kaboom. That's it. It's very, very tragic. I'm actually glad she is still alive at the moment. Um, she does have serious burns, so you should never have anything like that next to an oxygen tank. You shouldn't even have a light switch next to an oxygen tank, if I'm honest with you, because, you know, kaboom. Anyway. That's my theory about that story, so on to the next one. Sorry, this is going to be quite a quick one because I've got the hospital in a short while. Uh, video, e-cigarette explodes and sets fire to a barmaid in a busy pub. I want you guys to count how many how many different ways the e-cigarette went throughout the story. This video shows the shocking moment a barmaid was set alight when an e-cigarette exploded in a packed pub. Laura Beatty, 18, was serving a customer at the Buck Inn Hotel in Richmond, North York when she had a huge bang and saw the device shoot towards her. as one shot towards her. Uh, the projectile flaming e-cig then singed her arms and set the rest alight. In the video you don't see any fire upon a person apart from the initial, you know, pop with all the different sparks and stuff. Uh, had been on charge behind the bar but after setting Laura on fire, landed on the floor and scorched the vinyl tiles before burning itself out too. Uh, Laura said, I was about to give someone a change and I heard a bang, I could see fire coming at me and I felt the heat as I ran away. Of course you should run away when there's any fire, you know, don't, you know, walk towards it, obviously. I started crying hysterically, my arm was all black, my dress caught on fire as I ran away, I just didn't know what was happening. A customer came and took me into the bathroom to calm me down. She washed down my arm which was all black and I still didn't know what happened. That's fine, you know, that's, everything she did was right there. Any sort of explosion, get away from it. Um, Laura, who has worked at the pub for nearly two years, was badly shaken by the explosion. Um, she didn't see an e-cigarette coming towards her, she saw fire coming towards her. Okay, She thought the fuse box had blown up or a firework had gone off. Actually, I think it was a firework. Okay, I'll get into that in a minute or two though. Um, the e-cigarette belonged to a fellow barman, Stuart Patterson, who had been trying to quit smoking since December last year. He said, I put the e-cigarette on charge on my iPad charger, which I have done countless times before. I am gritting my teeth because why would he use an iPad charger? It's for iPads. 
you don't charge anything else with it. It even says in the instructions, even if you've got an iPhone, you don't use an iPad charger for an iPhone, you don't use an iPad charger for a normal phone, you use it for your iPad. That's what it's designed for. Just in the exact same way that e-cigarette chargers are designed for those specific styles of e-cigarettes. It comes with instructions, or well, they do now, and you can even look it up. You get a charger with your e-cigarette, you use that charger. You don't plug it into something else just in hope for the best. Of course something's going to happen. Not an explosion, but you're going to ruin your e-cigarette for one thing. Um, he says he heard a huge bang that sounded like a firework, turned around to see a ball of fire weaving about. Saw Laura, Laura running away and thought somebody had thrown a firework. Firework's been mentioned twice now in this story. A punter pointed to the e-cigarette that I'd been charging and it was still smoking. Okay, so he pointed at it and it was still smoking. It burnt through the vinyl floor as well. So the, a customer was easy to see that he was able to see the e-cigarette, which had flown towards her, and is now on the floor charging. So that's uh, how many? Is that three, four ways? I can't. I can't remember. When the battery exploded, it shot across the room and hit one punter in the stomach and left him with a red mark. Five ways. So first of all, it shot towards her from under the desk. Then it was on the floor burning. Then it was still in the charger, and now it's. Uh, where is it now? It's shot off across the other side of the room from under the desk and hit a punter in the stomach. I kept thinking what if this had happened while I was charging it at home? I may have been out and the damage would have been horrendous. Well you don't leave it charging. You don't leave it plugged in. You don't. You don't charge things unattended. Oh dear gods. We'll look back at the, f the footage and see how close the fireball came to Laura's head. If she was stood a couple of inches to the right she could have been badly hurt. Stuart, a student, added, It was a full pub at the time. We had a local football team in celebrating the end of season. It was lucky that no one else was badly hurt. So there was a bunch of drunken football players in there celebrating at the same time. Now, personally, I think this is a prank that's gone wrong. Someone set off a firework and no one wants to take the blame. So it gets blamed on the e-cigarette. And the papers, of course, don't research this. There was no video footage showing the e-cigarette smoking on the floor. There's no pictures of it. There's no pictures of the damage done to either the girl herself or the punter, apparently, who'd been hit in the stomach by it. There was no photographic proof of the charger being burnt, the underneath of the bar being burnt. There was just a video with a flash of powdery, sparkly stuff. That's it. So methinks, prank has gone wrong. So in both of these stories, there's a lot of a lot of frightening facts that aren't confirmed, so they're not facts, they're just hearsay. This is not news, people. This is just them trying to get a story out to scare you. That's all it is. What are your opinions? What do you think happened with both, with the Gran and with the Barmaid? Let me know in the comments below, and until next time, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.